Do I look like a cute bunny? Probably not. <laughs> Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. My name is Kirielle and today I look, uh, I don't know. <laughs> just don't ask, okay. Let's just get some makeup on. <laughs> today I thought I would go through with some of my favourite products, a full face of my favourites and just tell you why I like them, what I've been doing recently. It's fun trying new products but I do have my favourites so I thought I'd just go through my favourite products as I'd already said. <laughs> Can I do less than a two minute intro? I doubt it. <laughs> But that is why I am coming to you with no makeup on at all, bare face and naked. I'm excited to change that, so let's get straight into the products. So these are literally just coming out of my makeup bag because these are the things I've been storing away and taking everywhere with me. So first thing I don't think I'm gonna be able to use because uh, there's like nothing left in this bottle, but I love this primer. <laughs> Come on. It's really good because it's moisturizing and it leaves like a smoothing effect on the skin But not in the same way that a silicone primer does It just really makes your skin feel smooth and moisturized and I just really like it Some of these products you probably would have seen a lot throughout my videos I'm not gonna lie so I'm hoping I'm not gonna sound like a broken record <laughs> If you follow my channel you probably know I like to like double prime even triple prime sometimes So the second primer which I've been obsessed with is the Unicorn Primer Drops by Barry M. These are just so affordable and they really stick your makeup down so I really do like this primer. The only thing that I hate about this is the pipette, like it just doesn't work properly. The actual product is too thick for it and it just doesn't, it just don't work good. So Barry M, if you could sort this out, that would be, that would be great. Like it doesn't, there's product in there but it just doesn't come out. So annoying. I find that these two primers together just make my skin feel real good and also prepped for foundation. So I've been doing a little bit of a concoction, but that's what I like to do because I like different foundations for different reasons. So the combination that I've been really loving is the Revolution Conceal and Define Full Coverage Foundation. This is in the shade F1. And then I've also been mixing in the L'Oreal Infallible Fresh Wear Foundation. And this is in the shade 15 Porcelain. I don't know, these two together I just really like. The Revolution one is kind of matte, but the Fresh Wear is also kind of radiant. So so together they make a really nice finish and they also last so long together. I traveled up to Birmingham and back in one day and my face did not budge and that's a three hour journey each way so six hours and also we went shopping all day so I had a full day wear of this and it did not budge. It is such a good combination so I'm gonna wear this again today. The only downside for me is the color so it doesn't exactly match and it is slightly dark but hey what else is new for me <laughs> to combat that today i'm actually gonna mix in a bit of the hourglass just because i want it to match me a little bit better this is one of my favorites like all-time favorite foundations but i don't use it a lot because it was expensive <laughs> <laughs> but I'm just using it for the sake of lightening the foundation today. I just dot the Makeup Revolution one all over my face and then I just take the fresh wear on the back of my hand. Or you can use a palette, whatever you want to use. And then I just take the butt of my Beauty Blender and I just go over top and just mix it all together. I feel like mixing in the hourglass just helped the shade just a little bit. So I'm hoping it's going to last as long with that mixed in as well. But this is the concoction that I've been loving for the best coverage and long lasting skin. Let's just speed this up so you don't get bored. For concealer, I went back to an old favourite that I kind of disregarded because I was trying cheaper alternatives. This is just so good. It's the Jouer High Coverage Liquid Concealer. This shade is too dark for me, so I do have to mix it. I mix in the e.l.f. Camel Concealer in the shade Fair Warm because the shade Lace in the Jouer is just a little dark for me. Buying online is always difficult for me. You can tell it's just a little bit too orangey. It does kind of oxidize a little bit on my skin as well. But this, oh, this concealer is just so smoothing and it just like hydrates and looks so good on my under eyes. I have kind of like dry crusty under eyes so if I could find a concealer that stops that from happening, I'm happy. I have just ordered the Jeffree Star concealer so we'll see how that goes. Keep your eyes peeled. I'm hoping that's going to be a good one. I had to buy it from his site directly and his site is based in America though because the shade that I wanted sold out instantly on Beauty Bay, obviously. I had it in my car, I was literally checking out, and then it said that they were out of stock. And I was like, of course you are. How am I getting concealer, like, literally everywhere? 
for a time I was loving the e.l.f. concealer by itself and I do I do kind of like it but I do find it slightly drying on my under eyes because I do have weirdly dry under eyes compared to the rest of my oily skin. But under my eyes I've just been using this Revolution Pro HD contour kit. This is in the shade light to medium and I've just been using this fair shade on the corner by here just to set my under eyes and I've actually been using my sponge to do so so I quickly tap out any creasing and then just flip it over and just go on in. The only thing with this concealer, the Jouer one, I feel like I have to set it otherwise it's just gonna look like a crazy mess. For all over the face setting I've been using my Kiko powder. This is the Radiant Fusion Baked Powder in 01. It is slightly darker than my skin tone but I go in lightly just patting it into the skin but I just like the finish that it gives and it's not too heavy as well so I do just like patting this all over with my big fluffy brush. Now that I look casket ready it's time to move on to bronzer. So I have been loving the Fenty Beauty bronzer it's just such a perfect shade for me. I just love that it's a sheer application unless you don't want it to be then you can go in honey. So this is in the shade Indie Sun, which in my review video of this I kept calling it India Sun. Yeah, I'm just going to apply this bronzer. I just need to change over my battery because we are in the red, people. We're in the red zone. I prefer to stamp this on. I feel like when I kind of swipe and buff, it does kind of pick up a little bit of the product underneath, but patting it on for me is the best way. And I just love the color. I love the finish. I kind of use it as like a contour. It's not really cool tone enough for me to use as an actual contour. But for a subtle bronzy cut, I can use it for that. I feel like it looks like a natural bronze for my skin tone. It's like the best thing. I have done a full bone review on this and talk about some alternatives if you don't wanna spend like 23 pound or whatever this was. That video, I go through some of my other favorites, but this is just one I've been reaching for all the time. I feel like it did go in a little harsh, so I'm just gonna pat over this with my powder. Just so I don't look too extreme for the barbecue that I'm going to today. <laughs> for blush, I've really just been loving this BH Cosmetics 10 color blush palette. I just really love having a good array of colors, especially if you're taking your makeup elsewhere and you want options. This is just a really good palette to take. It is kind of big, but it's also slimline. But these powders are really blendable. They're really easy to use. So I've just been gravitating towards this so much. I don't really feel like going crazy with the blush today. So I'm gonna take this super natural color by here. It looks a lot darker on camera than what it actually is in real life. It's very fair. I'm just going to blush up these cheeks just a little bit. This one blends into my bronzer quite well. I feel like this side of my face is very dark just because of where my windows are placed so I'm sorry if I'm looking kind of dark on this side. It isn't that dramatic I swear. <laughs> okay I'm gonna leave highlight to last because I like to do that before I set everything. So I'm gonna go ahead and move on to the eyes real quick. I zoomed you guys in just a little bit for the eyes. I'm not gonna go crazy but just so you guys can see. If you've been watching any of my videos on my channel recently you'll probably know this one already but my go-to palette at the moment is the nude palette by Huda Beauty. I just love the tones in here. They're very pink and very light and kind of have spring vibes So I'm just gonna do like a simple eye today They're really blendable and you have a lot of diversity in this palette as in you can go a bit deeper with these shades up here You have glitters if you want to add a little bit of sparkle It's a good neutral palette with a bit of versatility as well. Is that a word? Versatility? I don't know <laughs> And I'm not gonna bother with an eye base today, but usually I would use the P. Louise, you guys know, but I've got concealer all over my lid. Because I'm just doing a super like blended look, I I just I'm being lazy today, okay? <laughs> I'm going in with the colour Teddy, which is kind of just like a warmish brown, and I'm just shoving this throughout the crease. These shadows aren't very high maintenance, that's why I quite like them. They're just simple, you can just blow them out. Also, the pigment on them is really good too. Now I'm just gonna take a little bit of raw on the same brush and just add a bit of depth to the outer corner. Oh, I don't think I actually mentioned this in the beginning of the video, but I did take a week off. Um, we had a death in the family, my partner's family actually. Basically, their little pet Oscar passed away. He was very ill and it was, I mean, I've known him for 10 years and it was just a little bit of like, an emotional time so I took a week off just to recuperate and I am back so I just want to say thank you 
for the people who joined within the meantime that I was off and thank you for not leaving me. <laughs> it was just a bit of a sad time and I didn't really feel like editing. I just kind of wanted to use the time to, you know, comfort those who needed it and also myself because losing a pet is, is a sad time. If you don't own animals, then you won't know. That's fine. If you follow me on socials like Instagram and Twitter, you would have already known because I posted on there that I wouldn't be posting for this week. Thank you for just bearing with me. Okay, so let's move on to the next favorite, which is these by Makeup Revolution. I just love these so much. They're so simple to use and they just pop off a look. This is the Eye Glisten by Makeup Revolution. I really like the shade Adored, Adored You or Adored By You, Adore You that one. But today I'm going to use the Yours Truly one which is a slightly pink to gold shade. So I'm going to use the metallic side first and I'm just going to cut the crease. I use these with a light hand because they can kick up if you're not careful. I just apply them then pat them out with my finger and they dry down super duper quick and it's just a little bit of a sheen to the eyelid. If you want to get like the true colour of the actual shade I would suggest maybe cutting your crease with concealer or something. I'm just sloppily doing it right now. I'm just gonna tight line and do my waterline. These are the Revolution Pro eye pencils. These just stay put on me and I have kind of watery eyes, so I just really like these. I'm just gonna finish off my lash line with some eyeshadow real quick. This is kind of like my go-to makeup at the moment. Like I just throw all this stuff inside my makeup bag and then go. For my mascara, again, this is just something that I've used so much on my channel. The Makeup Revolution mascara is just my favorite. It just gives me the best clumpy, thick lashes that I need in my life. Yeah, and a lot of these are things that I mentioned on my channel before. I just wanted to compile them into one video so you guys can see what I actually use whenever I do my makeup. What am I gravitating towards? What do I want to use? These are the answers. Look how thick along my lashes look with that mascara. I freaking love this stuff. It's so good. If you like a clumpy mascara from the get-go, this one's, this one's your man. Now that the eyeshadow has kind of like dried down, I'm gonna go over it with the glitter side and I'm just gonna pat this over top. And I'm just gonna leave that to dry as well. For brows, I will admit, I'm just super duper lazy when it comes to my eyebrows. I have pretty thick full brows and they don't really require a lot of like filling or anything. So I usually just go with a tinted brow gel. The one that I've been using recently is the L'Oreal Brow Artist Plumper. I do also love Give Me Brow, but this is just one that I've just been using. It is pretty dark though for my eyebrows, but it just defines the hairs and keeps them in place all day. My eyebrows are, as per usual, due for a waxing, a trimming, uh, all of the above. But my eyebrows are just so thick. It hurts so much. And I am such a baby. They need sorting, really. They really do. <laughs> but that is pretty much it. That's all I do. As you can see, before and after, it just just kind of like defines them just a little bit. But yeah, I just don't like being too high maintenance with my eyebrows. Just kind of chuck this on and go. Sometimes I feel like putting a pencil through them or something, but usually I just do this. The setting spray, I've really been loving Fix Plus by MAC. This is a lavender scent. And it is so good. And it just kind of like sets down the powder and makes it look a little bit better. So I'm just gonna quickly spritz my face before I do my highlighter and lips and everything. and I do kind of drench myself in it. But the missing on this is so fine, you can get away with it. For lips, I've really been loving like a nude, glossy lip. Juicy lips are in for summer. Okay, I, I proclaimed it, it is official. <laughs> Color I've been loving is Jeffree Star, can't relate. I just love this color. It's such a good nude, especially for fair skin. I don't know how this would go on darker skin, but for my skin tone, it's perfect. Okay, so I'm just gonna let that dry for a second, but then what I've been going over the top with is something that I love, but I also hate at the same time. And it's the Fenty Gloss Bomb. This is in the shade Bossy. Again, beautiful product, looks so good on the lips. But the taste and the smell of this just literally reminds me of kids' makeup. The smell is really off-putting for me, but I just love the way that it looks and feels. So I kind of build myself a bridge and just get over that <laughs> but yeah, it's something that really really irks me. It really bothers me, but I'm gonna use it anyway So now that this is dried down, I'm just gonna go over top. It just smells of chemical strawberries. It's, it's nasty. It's not nice <laughs> Look at that glossy lip. 
My final favourite that I've been using is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Loose Highlighter in the shade Snowflake. I just love layering this. This is my kind of like popping off highlight where if I want my face to beam, then I will layer this on top of other highlighters. So I'm going to do that today. I'm going to use my Soph X Makeup Revolution palette first of all. I'm going to use this shade which I've hit pan on <laughs> and I'm just going to apply this like liberally. You know, I put down my mirror and I can, oh there it is. This is a good highlight on itself and it's not subtle either but some days I just like being extra you know <laughs> then once I've done that I go in with this on the very high points but I just take it on the tip of my brush and I put it on the very high points and it just beams it off my cheek baby the final thing I do to go over my highlight and make sure it's all seamless for my face I take my fix plus one more time and I just spritz it one more time and that is it for my face. All right, you guys, so I hope you enjoyed this quick little video into the insights on my favorites. Well, I say quick, I've been filming for like an hour and a half. <laughs> But I hope you like seeing the inside into my makeup bag and doing a full face of my favorite products at the moment. These are literally just the products that I keep going back and back and back to and I can't get my hands off. I do have a lot of new products that I have to try in my tryout drawer. So if you like more product reviews and first impressions, things like that, they are coming. Don't worry. Just subscribe and you'll get notified of when I upload those. And don't forget to hit the bell notification so you get notified as well. If you do enjoy videos like this though, please leave a thumbs up so I know it's all well and good doing like reviews and that, but sometimes it's nice to know what products I'm actually constantly using and constantly going back to. If you are new here and you made it to the end of the video, thank you very much. You're more than welcome to stay here. I love having new people and we have gained quite a few people recently. So thank you everyone who subscribed. It truly means a lot to me. We are almost on 300 people here, which is insane to me. <laughs> but yeah, I'm gonna love you and leave you. I hope you're having a wonderful day wherever you are in the world. I hope it is a beaming sunshine like it is here in Wales at the moment. It is stunning outside and I can't wait to go because I'm about to go to a barbecue so we rarely get those days. It's a good one today, but yeah, I hope to see you on the next one. Till then. Bye guys. Where's my mirror gone now? <sighs> and then I've also been mixing in food. I just, I just stopped the stick. I just stopped the pour all over the set. What? <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead. Also, this is the Igis dot, uh, what? So I'm gonna use the metallic shade shard. Why do I always say that? Now that the eyeshadow has kind of like gl 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 what? I got horses in the van. So I thought I'd just go through them all. But so, so I thought. Oh my god. If you like, it would be you.